Hi guys, this is Pete, N6QW, and I'm making a short video here of a new uh, DDS uh, system using the Adafruit uh, SI5351 um, clock oscillator. It actually has three clock oscillators on the board. I'll pull this back a little bit so that you can see the uh, clock oscillator, which is right here. This item right here, it's uh, driven by a Nano. And what I've done is it generates both the VFO signal and the BFO signal. And I have a panel selectable so that it can select either upper sideband or lower sideband. Actually generating two separate frequencies. The IF is at 9 megahertz, And it generates 89958 and then 900150. And um, it, it, uh, I'm using it with a transceiver that I built several years ago called the J-Bomb. And uh, this is a uh, single conversion, uh, 9 megahertz IF. So I'm going to tune this around a little bit. Uh, this is a brand new build for me. And it's based on work by uh, Jason NT7S, SQ9JE, JNE, and uh, Tom Hall. Uh, AK2B. So I'm uh, kind of excited. This is the first application. And of course, uh, the guys who are building the Minima uh, have been uh, playing with this and uh, they, they had some uh, comments regarding the phase noise and that. And we'll be evaluating it, but I guess at this point, I'm just excited that it works. I'm going to slip uh, switch it here. I don't know if you can see the detail of the tuning, but the little LCD display right there you can see the numbers change okay now I'm going to switch the sidebands okay now we generate the other frequency for the uh, the VFO is operating above the incoming frequency, so it's operating at uh, 23 megahertz, and uh, I'm using a 90015 for the uh, lower, uh, upper sideband, even though that's typically the lower sideband frequency. Pretty excited about the results. We'll have to do a lot more detailed testing, but right now it's on 20 meters. We do hear a little um, click noise as you're tuning through the encoder. I'm sure someone has a fix for that. But again, this is N6QW, and we're tuning through 20 meters, 100, 100 hertz increments. This can be adjusted so you can tune 100 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz, and 110. I have not tried this on transmit as yet, but uh, here's the J-bomb transceiver here and uh, this is a, a J bomb is an acronym for just a bunch of modules so I, I've taken um, I bypassed the VFO in this and bypassed the BFO and I'm I'm generating everything everything that I need to operate this transceiver is right off this little uh, module here which is the uh, SI5351 and an Arduino Nano and it's got a uh, LCD display here so, uh, pretty exciting. Now, the guys that are playing with this on the Minima are complaining about phase noise. I haven't got to that point to make any of those kinds of measurements, but I'm just having fun uh, cranking through here. There's still a few hiccups and burps with this, and of course we'll uh, be working on those to try to get them resolved. So, uh, again, this is Pete, N6QW. So I'm going to end this video right now. Again, we're just testing out this uh, new board ride DDS board, uh, an SI5351 driven by the um, Arduino Nano. Uh, M6QW here. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to try tuning this now. And all you hear is some background noise.
One of the artifacts also is uh, you hear the encoder click noise, and uh, I'm not sure if you had an optical encoder if that would uh, fix things up, but that click noise is a little bit of a, an annoyance. This is 20 meters. There we go, Seymour, W6CCP. Recognize that voice anywhere. Again, the uh, click noise from the incremental encoder. Big signal out of Southern California. Now we're one kilohertz increment. Let's see how down on CW N6 QW. Sounds pretty good. We're tuning it at one kilohertz rate, so it kind of goes right past them. I'm going to end this video now, and uh, thank you for riding along. This is N6QW, and I'm demonstrating the uh, Arduino-driven uh, SI5351 board from Adafruit Industries, and um, I'll be posting this on YouTube.